Right, this is Wimborne Road Cemetery in Bournemouth, Bournemouth's largest cemetery. The buildings we see here, built 1930s, these housed the public toilets at one stage. Uh, sadly a victim of a relatively dull 90s refurb, uh, seen by myself in 2002, uh, closed in the late 2000s, last seen them in 2006 I think. So yeah, they built a little duct in for here. There's the door to it, and there's the door to the duct. We see the white door. There's a duct in there. That gate used to open, used to go right into them. See the tiles. And the main road the other side. Uh, green tiles. The tiles look alright, the rest of it's pretty dull though. I think it might have been Twyford's pans in there actually, stainless steel your vinyl, the wall gate, the usual really. Building's kept because it's used for storage. I believe the water tank would be up the top. The ladies have pink tiles. It's not very friendly, does it? You see. A rather small overflow up there. Can't really see into the window. The door's left open. I'm a little bit nervous about the door. I don't know if I'm being watched, you see, because the lodge is just to my left. Um, so what we do is be a bit careful. Don't want to get caught doing anything too much. Not that I'm doing anything bad. Just have a little tour. Cemetery opened in 1877. I believe some original buildings all boarded up around here. Out of bounds, sadly. So that's about it, really. To be a bit careful, a police car just drove past. Ain't looking for me, I don't think. I hope not. So what it does, we'll be a bit careful and we'll try and have a look into that little doorway there, see what we can find. Just low levels. Night out in there, I did try and have a look. Like I said, ducks um, feel a bit airy, uh, a bit edgy, you know what I mean? A bit, um, they're eerie, that's the word I was trying to look for. See, I couldn't actually go into a duct by myself unless somebody was there with me. I don't know why. It's a bit like a claustrophobia, I suppose. But yeah, so that's basically what it is. Low level concealed. And it'd be exactly the same in the men's. Just standard low level cisterns. Nothing special whatsoever. But we've got ourselves a duct for you. So, um, like I said, a few updates happening. Quite a lot of interesting stuff. Chasing a lot of high levels locally. Um, next week I'm going to the Isle of Wight, but after that I should be, well, over the next couple of weeks I'm going to try a few other places in Bournemouth. There's a little lodge in Boscombe Gardens. There is a high level in there. I need to try and figure out a way to get inside of it. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work yet, but um, I just have to turn up during the week one day, try and talk my way around it. It could work. It's worked for me before a few times, things like that. So there's quite a few other places as well, churches I'm looking at quite a bit lately. So churches is sort of another thing. Uh, more cemeteries if I can find any. I've done all the cemeteries in Bournemouth anyway, so that counts that out. I've finished the pool cemeteries. But yeah, the Isle of Wight would be the main next trip, so it should be next Tuesday. So obviously if you're watching this in the present, uh, Tuesday should be, I'm not sure what date it would be got a couple of places there so keep updated keep everyone updated and keep watching my videos it's been quite a good month for high levels actually not just for myself but loads of people are filming high levels so it's quite a good bit of fun at the minute so yeah so hopefully this time next week i'll have a few more high levels to upload right now we're back home so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a further little look at the building that we just looked at with the little duct view i'll get up google earth and there we are we're looking directly above the building 
So as you can see, there's the cemetery. Wimborne Road runs all the way along up here. The lodge we see here, it's quite modern for a lodge. It replaced the Victorian one. It's built in the 60s. And um, this toilet building was built in the 30s. And the duct we looked in literally just covers right across up here. So it's quite a narrow duct and it'd be the same in the men's up here. That's quite interesting because I only ever saw the ladies once. I was walking back once quite a few years ago and the men's was closed but the ladies was open. Now I had a couple of drinks that afternoon I think so I thought well I'll quickly go in the ladies. I didn't care. I wasn't really drunk or nothing but I quickly dashed in there and um, I thought they had three WCs along this wall right but after the duck view we've seen today it appears they're along this wall so I don't know, maybe I was drunk and couldn't remember it properly, but I can easily remember layouts, you see, so that was quite a few years ago, so the duck view today, obviously, I know the actual layout now, but that's uh, the building we just had a quick look at. I thought while we're here today, we'll have a little look at what's coming up over the next couple of weeks, the next few months. I mentioned something about Boscombe Gardens. And there's a lodge in the gardens, right? I went down there earlier, they've got a fairground on. These unisex toilets that I filmed in my tour, they were actually open today. Wouldn't go in them myself, I might do one day, but didn't set foot in them. The lodge you see is here, right? You see a little open window. No one was inside today. There's a high level overflow, literally right up there. And when I went past in the bus the other day, I'm very sure, I'm very certain there's a twisted pipe high level in there. So I wouldn't mind getting in there. So I'm going to try and plan that one. But I want, I want to prove there is still a high level in Boscombe. That's what it is, basically. Because Boscombe's lost all of its good high levels. So that's pretty much going to be the, possibly one of the only chances I get with Boscombe. But as I've already mentioned, I'll be back in the Isle of Wight next week which I'm pretty looking forward to as if you saw my videos from February the other boy had quite a lot of uh, potential places so I actually missed a couple last time there's one down here somewhere that I missed I literally missed it because the bus goes quite fast there's no serious traffic on the Isle of Wight so I missed this one down here I'll definitely try and get to next week probably on Tuesday there it is yeah, it's got a potential. It's got quite a lot of potential to it. So, we'll try and get to that one. And obviously, it's the summer season now. Well, it's classed as the summer season. So, the ones I filmed in Yarmouth, I filmed the disabled. This time, hopefully, we get to see the whole setting. So, a quick reminder. Is it the building here? It's actually next to a cemetery. It's not classed as a cemetery one, but it could be classed as a seafront one as well. So it's a bit of everything, this one. So I'd be quite glad to get inside there. I originally thought it was concealed, but I don't think it is. So I thought that's an air vent, but that ain't an air vent. So I don't know. It could be anything, really. Obviously the disabled I filmed last time is in here. We got inside that, so that's quite good. Um, I'll try a few other places on the Isle of Wight as well. What I missed last time was down here somewhere. Yeah, down here. I missed it because the bus went too fast again. I know which bus stops get off now. And I might, I think, Maybe try and get into ride, perhaps. I'm not sure. It depends really how things work out or cows. There's a couple of potentials in all of them. And then in the summer, I'll try these places. Sandown, Shanklin, Vetna. There's a lot of potentials and guarantees down there. There's well-known high levels down there. So that's pretty much going to take place next week. Now we're back in my desktop. Try and have a... Look at the rest of the places planned for 2014. See, I'll keep upgrading my action plans when I get the time. So I've got a couple of action plans written. I'm already going to have to make a few changes. Southampton is going to get moved to next month, I think. 
on the Sunday, when I do get a Sunday, it's going to be next month. So I've done Farum. I'll add the Earl of Whiteham. So that'd be for April and May. Uh, Southampton, London, and probably Little Hampton. Bristol, I'll postpone, I think. So that's quite safe. And also, I'll be going to Amsterdam as well. Be going to Amsterdam next month should be interesting. The Anne Frank Museum should be very interesting. And there is a high level in there, so I'll try and film it. Might not be able to do too much with it, but I'll definitely be able to film it. So quite a lot of places coming up throughout the rest of the year. Obviously the big trip is Newcastle, Tyne and Weir, which is going to be in June, the end of June. That's going to be a big visit. I've got a full-on action plan for that. A few updates needed for it. Another Isle of Wight probably in July, maybe August. And I'll be back in Kent as well in August. So an action plan needs to be written for that. And also in October, I'm planning Manchester. That's going to be interesting. Very, uh, quite a tricky area, but I'm looking that area up already. So yeah, that will pretty much take me to the end of the year. It will change as time goes on as well. So it should be quite a good uh, couple of months with the filming. So hopefully I will find high levels. I'll try and find one high level a month. And this month I've pretty much exceeded that quite far so this month's pretty safe and obviously may as well i've got quite I've quite my hopes up for may i've pretty much got a guarantee with little hampton so do the male version of the gleb recreation ground so i've got a guarantee there also southampton that's probably pushing it a bit but that's going to be a few cemeteries planned around that time of the Sunday on the London Sunday I'm going to call it uh, I've got a couple of high potentials as well but they only open on a Sunday so that's probably going to take place next month so yeah so basically I'll upload these videos now and got quite a busy weekend but hopefully Tuesday we'll find something else good so definitely be looking forward to my next trip out